All right, what is good? What is happening? How is everybody doing today? My name is Chuck and welcome back to a brand new video here today on Carnage. What I've got here today is we're gonna be talking about a new kind of printed artificial skin that turns pressure into nerve pulses. So if you guys do think you're gonna enjoy today's video, be sure to drop a like down below. Straining for 750 likes. We really do appreciate that. And as well as follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you guys like what I have here to say today, come check me out down in the description below. So without further ado, let's get right on into today's awesome topic. I'm just gonna read a little bit off of the portion of this article here so you guys know what we're all talking about. We're just gonna be on the same page, so here, let's go. A new type of sensor could help pave the way for artificial skin that can accurately and efficiently mimic a real sense of touch. In a study published today in Science, a group of Stanford University engineers successfully created a stretchable circuit that can sense pressure and transmit the information directly to mouse brain tissue. With more research, it could be used in prosthetic limbs that are more sensitive to their surroundings and better at navigating them. In prosthetics, touch can be a difference between simply interacting the world and actually sensing that interaction. Over the past several years, we've gotten closer and closer and mimicking at least some of the abilities of real skin. One of the most promising developments has been flexible circuits and sensors which can detect stretching, heat, and pressure, and other inputs we take for granted. But the issue isn't just figuring out how to capture that input that we experience as touch, it's getting the brain to register that input. So going off this article, I just wanna kinda talk a little bit about the prosthetic limbs, you know, just my opinion and everything. I mean, when you think about it, everybody that has to get a prosthetic limb, they're not exactly at the same sort of, you know, level, I guess, of functionality, or they don't have everything that, you know, normally me and you do. We kinda sit here, like, I'm just, I'm a very, you know, talkative type of person. I like to move my hands as I talk, especially during commentaries. It kinda gets, helps me get, you know, my thought process and everything out, and thinking about it, you know, when I'm sitting here moving my arms around, some people that have prosthetic limbs don't necessarily have all the ability to do everything as fast or, you know, to sense everything I do, like maybe my hands cold, like people don't have that ability to sense that. And so I'm really hoping that within the next three to five years, like they're saying somewhere down lower in the article, that I'm not gonna read off to you guys that this could possibly be a household type of thing if all goes well. And so that's something that I'd be really looking forward to doing because, you know, people that are disabled, they deserve to be able to have all these same sort of abilities that we do as as, you know people that are just you know perfectly fine and functional you know in that sort of sense but I want to talk a little bit more about something else that I think is even you know farther into the future because it's been on my mind a lot recently and I think you guys will be finding it pretty interesting so you know we talked about three five ten years in the future of this prosthetic limb and being able to touch and sense and everything like that and I was kind of thinking about sort of like organ type of replacement how it's the possibility of being able to make people just live super super long like I think it'd be absolutely insane if I was to live to be like 200 years old or something like that and there'd just be like a stage or if I was to even live past like 110, 120, 130 years old. I mean, we see like some of the longest living people are like 120 years old and that's like one in like a million or two or like a billion type of people that actually live to be that old. And there's not that very many people and if that could be like a norm, like 80, 100 years in the future, like are I gonna be having like grandkids and my, you know, my kids are gonna be having grandkids before like I actually pass away or maybe it's gonna be some Elysium type of stuff where, you know, everybody's up there that's just rich and and, you know, just lives, you know, for God knows how long. And they have those machines that can just cure all these different diseases and stuff. I mean, just thinking about all this stuff in the future would be absolutely just insane and mind-boggling. And so I want you guys to tell me down in the comment section below if you guys think, you know, organ replacement would be possible, what you think about this whole prosthetic limb and, you know, the touch sensors and everything like that. So that's really been about it for today's video. If you guys did all enjoy, be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. And I'll catch you all when I'm up here next. I don't know when that is, but hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. And until next time, just remember, don't triple cap, don't be a Randy, and I'm out. Peace.